Yeah. So I think the time may have come. And I think also if I say on your podcast, I'm going to do it, then I'm not allowed oh, yeah. to go back, right? Isn't that? Mendy told me to tell the audience <laughs> that if you want Mendy to get acoustics in his room, you should uh, if 100, email If 100 us, people email Ben. <laughs> email me at secretsonics at gmail.com and tell me that Mendy should get uh, acoustics in his room. He's going to do it. But when he says acoustics, he means the real deal. Like, I'm going to get a professional to come in and deck yeah, it out. My, my guy, Omer Carney, who is coming on Sunday, I'll give you his number. <laughs> He's the dude. Maybe I could get him ben, to do a quick like, little interview on Sunday for the podcast. You should do that. That's a really good idea. Actually, that would be really dope. So I'm going to ask him. I feel like I'm, I a to- I'm at a Tony Robbins event where you're getting me to like have a breakthrough in <laughs> live in front of everyone. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Uh, yeah, so you just told me, like, oh, I just want it so that the... And you also were complaining about how your, your, your microphone, which is a, a warm 87, you're like, ah, oh, I think I'm done. I think I need to get another microphone. And I was right. like, well, wait a minute. Have you ever recorded with it in a sound-treated room? Right. The, the truth is, is that... And because Arya Kunzler, who was yeah. on the podcast a couple of weeks ago, was gushing to me about how awesome the warm 87 is. Yeah. And I was like, wait a minute. I'm, I'm sure you what it's it good is. I, I've, I've obviously only really used my microphone in my room, and then I used a different microphone in a different room. Oh, and I just remember saying. hearing the difference. And I obviously, you know, associated the difference to the two microphones, which... I'm sure there is some difference, sure. but Absolutely. there could also be a huge room uh, factor as yeah. well. Monitoring also, so. how you're hearing it back. Yeah. Um, yeah. Headphones mo- versus monitors. So, yeah. Listen, if you're using headphones to do your productions, you don't need to get acoustic treatment. Right. But if you're listening back a lot through the speakers, which is more comfortable and long term, yeah. will, will give you less ear fatigue. And you're already starting to do some of your own mixes. And yeah, I was saying before, so there's a lot of kind lot of, of... You're like working with a lot of artists now. Yeah. You, but, could, you could save yourself some dough. I mean, I'm not trying to take away business from... From yourself. From myself <laughs> and other people that have studios that you come and track by. But yeah. uh, it no, could it, be... No, it's also... Um, I mean, I want, I want what's best for you, Mendy. I, I was saying before, <laughs> like, there's, there's a lot of... Um, I appreciate that. No, there's a lot of... Um, I think production and, and mixing are... are are very tied together and there's lots of little things that there's lots of uh, little things that I'll be doing during the mix jo- sorry during the production that you know right you're in yeah yeah I don't want to like tear the whole thing down at the end and be like okay you know here's my rough mix try and make everything kick, you know I'd like eventually to be able to mix my own stuff I think um, or if or, or if I'm not if I'm deciding not to for that to be for musical reasons for you know for the fact that like I want fresh ears or, or whatever it is as opposed to like Actually, I just don't trust my room, you know, which okay. is great. So I think, I think the case is closed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You have to give me his number now. I'll give you Omer's number after the podcast. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> or, you know, maybe make a payment plan situation or put a, make a savings for it or something. GoFundMe like company. <laughs> yeah. Kickstarter. Get Mendy yeah. Acoustic. No, I think I'm going to do it. You know, for the price of <laughs> however many song productions, you yeah. know. Whatever, that's a barter. Anyways, uh, dude, this is, I think, I think this has been a great catch This up. has been great. Is there anything would, else you want to share with the audience before we wrap up? No. Um, all I would say is, I guess the answer was then yes. Um, all I would say is, is that if you haven't heard any of the previous episodes of this podcast, you should check them out because there is a huge amount of, um, I was going to say health, but I meant huge amount of, a huge wealth. Um, you're going to have to edit this. Um, <laughs> this is, I'm not saying this right. There's a huge amount of um, knowledge from all kinds of different people who yeah. um, all Thank kind you. of specialize in different parts of the music industry. And honestly, I've learned so much from all of them. I listen um, very regularly and religiously. This is like my Sunday morning church is listening to Ben's podcast. Oh, cheers, bro. Um, <laughs> so uh, d- do it. And, and um, I think that's it. Dude, amazing. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me, Ben. Thanks for stopping by. Good luck with your session later today. Thanks, dude. And uh, we'll be in touch. Good luck with the acoustics, right? (laughs) Thank you. I'll keep you posted. (laughs) You too. Okay, guys. uh, Thanks for listening to this episode of Secret Sonics. I'm just going to close it out on the mic. I usually do it a little bit differently, but I just don't have a place to record anymore. (laughs) So it's going to be what it's going to be. Got to post the episode on Sunday, and my studio is only moving on Sunday. So if you enjoyed this episode... Uh, share it with a friend go to the Apple Podcasts uh, zone and rate it and review it and uh, share it with a friend if you enjoyed this please share it with a friend organic reach is really what I'm hoping for and uh, hoping to grow the podcast and uh, see where it takes us and um, 
Also, I have a podcast recommendation for everybody listening to the show. Another podcast that this is completely me just just deciding to share it with everybody. Nobody told me to share it. My friend recently shared this podcast with me. It's called Strong Songs with a guy named Kirk Hamilton. And I've been gobbling it up. It's so good. I actually posted it on my Instagram today uh, as a story. Uh, So I think if you like this show, if you dig it, uh, and and or you're just interested in music in general, not even music production, this is a podcast worth listening to. So check out Strong Songs. I'm sure it's on all the podcatchers out there. And as always, you can subscribe to this on your favorite podcatcher and uh, tell your friends. And have a great week, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.